Hi, this is Sean with OMU Energy, and today we're gonna to show you how to swap and upgrade the 12 volt battery in your Nissan Aria. This is the Nissan Aria, and these are just good vehicles. They have a great interior layout, which just looks very comfortable to me. Like it just kind of has that, that nice touch. But the, and then there's some haptic feedback buttons all over that are, that they just blend in nicely. So you get a really nice interior with uh, that sort of minimalist look. They get a decent range, uh, mid 200s, but these are better priced EVs. A lot of electric vehicles are pretty high end vehicles in terms of pricing. They're kind of, priced out of market for a lot of would-be buyers. But on the, the lower end of pricing, the Nissan Aria, I think, is a lot of value for your money. Nissan's been building cars for a very long time. They build good cars, it's good quality. They're just, they're just good, solid, well-built cars. Today, we're gonna show you how to actually replace the 12 volt battery in this car. All right, let's get started. All right, here's the tools you're gonna need. Nothing but a 10 millimeter wrench. This one's really easy. Uh, there's also, I, I like to use a power tool and so I typically put my 10 millimeter socket on the end of that and uh, that just makes it go quicker. From a safety perspective, good idea to wear gloves with some kind of a rubber liner and goggles to protect your eyes. And that is all because the lead acid battery in there is acid containing. And if that acid gets out, it's extremely corrosive and it destroys everything around it pretty much. Another thing that is a good idea from that perspective is plastic bag of some sort, thick plastic, to put the lead acid battery right into that. That way when you're transporting it to, to go recycle it, the, the, the risk of that acid damaging something is minimized. All right, so now let's swap it. First thing we do is remove this plastic uh, fuse breakout. And we're actually just gonna take the whole thing off so you don't need to remove the cover of it. And, and preferentially, I would say leave it on just so that there's no more exposed uh, terminals than need be. So there's a little tab in the front and the back, and you're gonna squeeze those and lift it upwards. And then that whole panel will just kind of get out of your way like so. Then next, we're going to remove the bracket assembly here, which is two 10 millimeter bolts on either side, or nuts uh, rather, on either side. With those nuts out of the way, this bracket will just lift straight off. Now we will remove the negative terminal by loosening with 10 millimeter. Then wiggle, 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 and lift straight up. Now on the positive terminal, we'll lift the cover up, loosen this bolt right here, and then that will loosen the terminal same thing, you can wiggle, 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 and lift straight up. All right, now we've got the battery fully disconnected and fully uh, released from the tie down. Tilt it away from you and lift, and there's a kind of like a, I don't know if it's like an acid shield or why this plastic cover is on around the battery, but it's there. So we'll put that uh, back onto the new one as well and put it back in. All right, let's compare the weights of these batteries. Here is the Nissan OEM battery, and that's coming in at almost 27 pounds. Swap that out for the OMU Lithium, and that comes in at a little over eight pounds. So you're pretty close to a 20 pound weight loss, which is really nice uh, and a good way to increase your efficiency. All right, now let's put the, we put the plastic uh, surround back on here, and we will just slide that down into its space. And then you might have to wiggle the plastic down after the fact until you've got the battery in its tray with its plastic around it. And the first thing I like to do is put the bracket back on to hold it in its place while we work on the terminals. So once you feed that back into the two posts, then we'll secure the nuts on both of these. That should be secure. 
And now we can actually go ahead and reclip this onto that top bracket and we'll now connect the positive terminal. So I like to leave these covers on as long as I can. So now's the time to remove the positive and slide that over, press down and then tighten with a 10 millimeter. It should be tight to where it can't rotate. Then go ahead and cover it back up with battery terminals. And anytime we work on batteries, we always wanna keep our terminals covered whenever possible. It just prevents the possibility for shorts, especially if you're working with metal tools. All right, now we'll make this last connection by removing the cover on your negative terminal. And when we push this terminal connector back on, we're gonna do so and try to do so in one smooth motion and then keep, once, once it's touching the terminal, try to keep some pressure on it to keep them in close contact so that it's not touching and not touching and touching and not touching back and forth because that'll create little arcs. So then push it down in one smooth motion and then tighten. And put your cover on, check for snug, and that's all it takes. All right, that's it. The 12 volt battery has been swapped. This is a pretty easy swap. So I would set aside, you know, 15, 30 minutes and you should be able to accomplish it pretty, pretty easily. This car now has the lithium battery in it, which is great. It's gonna last a very long time. Great, reliable service for, for many, many years. And not only that, but we've also been able to reduce the weight of the vehicle by more than 20 pounds. And with an EV, it's all about efficiency and every little bit counts. That may not be a huge amount when we're talking percentage of vehicle weight, but it's something and we could always stand to lose 20 pounds. Maybe not everybody, but I sure could. So if you're interested in these batteries, go to omu.com, which is ohmmu.com and check us out. For the lithium, you actually will get some neat Bluetooth features by connecting through our app, Omu Energy, which is available in Android and iOS. And you can do things like check the diagnostic or see the voltage of the battery or the current going in or out. You can also do things like uh, upgrade the software in the battery, which is pretty cool. So check that out. You can also, you know, always, we love to hear from you. So message us, reach out, support at omu.com. If you want to email us or check out our support page, support.omu.com. And as always, enjoy your cars.